Yo, 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 is D. Arthur in the building. <clears throat> Today I'm talking about uh, semen retention, how to feel abundant, how to feel abundant. Um, when you're, when you uh, relapse, you you definitely feel like you, um, you have this disease called uh, one-itis. Uh, you have the scarcity m mindset that there's not enough to go around that there's only one person that can make you feel a certain way that there's only one way to receive money that there's only one way to get uh to get better if you're feeling sick you have to look at life like um a buffet you have to look like you have to look at life like that that life is not a zero sum game there is many different options in order to feel more abundant in your life, you have to learn how to trust in the universal laws. There is a law of supply, which means whatever you want, um, whether it's relationships, whether it's an abundance of money, power, position, influence, there is enough to go around. There is no minimum. There's the the whole world does not know what a uh, minimalism is or the most high does not know what a uh, lack is he is aware of it but he, that he doesn't play by that game he plays by the energy of abundance um in order for yourself to feel more abundant in life you have to trust one you have to trust that there's not enough to go around and two you can't just um you have to limit you you can't uh, limit your thinking if you ever feel some sort of uh, some sort of way where your thinking is kind of is plummeted, then you're definitely not gonna have. You're definitely always gonna feel uh, sad because you always think there's not enough to go around. The way to feel abundant is to make sure that you're giving yourself plenty of options. You can't put all of your eggs in one basket because if one uh, if one thing fails then your whole world is going to be um is going to be turned upside down if you have a high emotional investment into one female and it uh she doesn't pan out like you uh thought it was going to pan out then you don't know what to do your, with yourself that's why in this life of game you have to have options there has to be a game plan where if this doesn't happen at least you have this 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 and this so you're not so a needy if you're needy on one if you're needy uh with one person if you're needy on this one thing to happen in your life for you to feel better then it's probably not gonna happen because you're too dependent on how this how this thing will make you feel if it doesn't happen and you're showing too much resistance you have to be carefree you have to detach you have to be you have to not care about what happens. You have to be okay with it, whether it happens or whether it doesn't. You can't. If she doesn't uh, text you back, you can't. You can't uh, put all your eggs in that basket. And if it doesn't pan out, you're left uh, not knowing what to do with yourself. Make sure you're putting your eggs in different uh, different baskets. Make sure you're uh, putting your investments in different baskets. Um, in the Bible, there's a scripture that says. Invest in seven ventures, yes and eight, for you do not know what disaster may come upon the land. This is just this just means that you can't put all your eggs in one basket. There has to be some sort of uh, portfolio. There has to be some sort of uh, different uh, streams of ways to do things. This is very important if you want to find harness relationships harness status harness positions network people network with people the more you're carefree of the outcome and the more you're less needy the more things will come to you easily because you're not you're not showing any resistance you're just showing you're you're uh, free flowing you're just happy with yourself already and you don't need any and you're not uh, attached to one certain thing because if you're attached to one certain thing one certain female one certain outcome you're definitely just not gonna have like 
Um, you're gonna, you're not gonna be happy if it doesn't happen to you. So make sure you're detaching from the outcome, and you're, and you're using, um, you're becoming abundant in the way you think. That make you make sure that everything is for your, uh, your highest good, and you're not dependent on one thing to make you happy. All right, like, comment, subscribe below. Show me how you're being abundant in your thinking and the way you act. Peace.